Hi, I'm DJ from Yankee Dabbler, and today we're talking about this thing. It's got wheels, and it rolls back and forth. You got, like, a blue one, yo, I think. And yo, what, what are you what? doing? This is my thing. They like me better. No, they don't. Get out. Okay. They're not me. I, I tried. Okay, well, this is the real DJ for Yankee Dabbler, and today we're going to be taking a look at some more items that hopefully will be finding their way on your layout. And we're going to start with this 72-foot center beam flat car from Walters. Check out these cars here. I think you're going to enjoy these cars. We've seen these cars in the past before, but this is the latest wave of these cars here. And the neat thing about these is it actually has a die-cast metal frame here. So that is really neat to see there. And if you take a look in here, Engineer Hall, you see all the different various writings that we have in here. Talk about how you don't want to... Uh, Stack it the incorrect way or else these will tip over. I think that's really cool. These are really nicely detailed cars here. Now I have a couple of different versions down here. As you can see, I have different uh, different styles of these center beam flat cars. And you might be thinking, well, what can I pull with these things? Well, I have here, again from Walters, I got the Seam Master. I got the loads here. So I got various different loads here that I could put on these cars here. I have here, what's this? The Fo White River Forest. I got... I got a whole bunch of stuff here. Let's see what else I got here. I got the High Cascade Lumber. I got a whole bunch of these things here. These look really cool. This is a really neat one. That's it's upside good. down. That's my favorite one right here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Domtar. So these are really neat cars here. And again, a lot of people like to model the things that they see on the rails. So I think these center beam flat cars fit the bill for So you. these cars retail for $34.98. But so we're actually selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $27.99. Good deal to get on a car. I think you're looking to expand your fleet. I highly recommend getting these things for your layout. I think you're really going to enjoy them. So get them today. Yeah, another item that I really think you're going to enjoy because I love these. These are actually a couple of cabooses here from Rapido. I think these are really neat looking cars. They're really highly. This is. Well, well, I mean, there are cabooses, maybe cabooses. Cabooses. I, I really don't know the correct That's pronunciation. That's this many. Well, I have more than this many. No, okay. it's this many. Okay. Um, can I help you? We're doing a show here. Okay. Yeah. My cat smells like cat food. Thank you. Let me try to, uh, never mind. Anyway, let's take a look at some of these cabooses or whatever you want to call them from Rapido here. Now, I have a lot of really cool looking road names here. I got the Lehigh Valley. I got two versions of the Jersey Central there. I personally love the white stripe happening on that one. I believe they call it the Coast Guard version. I have here the Lehigh Valley. Love that Conrail blue. And I got two versions of the Redding. I got the green and yellow and the red i got the western of maryland and then another western maryland for the chessy system and then finally we're going to end with the lehigh and new england now these are really great looking cabooses here and they are very 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 highly detailed okay so take a look at all the stuff that's happening in here these are from rapido look at this all the detailing to go into there take a look at the roof here and opening these up, each one of these cars had a different thing depending on what it was, whether it had, um, you know, different style trucks that it came with or different detailing that you can add to these cars here. They're really this incredibly highly detailed. I love cabooses. These are just awesome cars. And the neat thing about these cars, too, is they light up. So I don't know how well it's going to show because we're not going to turn the lights on in the store, but we're going to turn them on and let's see if we get those lights happening. All right, so every single one of these cars are light up, and actually what is included in those boxes for these cabooses is Rapido's magic wand. So if I don't want those lights on, I can uh, move the magic wand around the roof where I have the switch there that actually turns these things on and off. So these are just awesome looking cars. They're incredibly detailed. You might be wondering what the price is. All right, so the price of these cars is $99.99. I know what you're thinking. That might be a lot for a caboose, okay? Okay. But again, the detailing that goes into these, the uh, amount of just, you know, these look great. These are works of art here. And if you're looking for an amazing caboose to add to your consoles, I really recommend getting one of these. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabla for $94.99. So I really highly really recommend you always throw on that engineer hall discount, save a little money too, on a very high quality item that looks fantastic. I don't know what you're waiting for. I think you need one or two of these, or maybe all of them, on your railroad today. All right. I got to. I'm stepping real quick. This looked like the red, was it the Red Boost Hotel? The Red Caboose Hotel. That is a good option. If you want to create the Red Caboose Hotel in Lancaster, there you go. This is pretty cool. And you know, I know people like that camera blue. 
Yeah? Yeah. It's a good one. Get them to there. We got some line now, the diesel locomotives that I, we have for your Oska layout. Maybe this is something that you want to put around the Christmas tree this holiday season. I think you're really going to enjoy hey, these DJ, guys. I got a couple questions for you. Okay, well, I'm doing a thing right now. So, okay, um, anyway. Um, what holiday movie features Paramarquette 1225? Well, of course, obviously the answer is the Polar Express. No, it's SP4449. What engine pulled the western part of the American Freedom Train? Um... That would have been SP forty four forty nine. Not highball. High, wait, Not a what chance. Are you talking about what sign do you say when you're going full speed on the rail line? Highball. No, no, no. That's oil burner. Wait. How anyway, many, how many type more of questions? Fuel is used to power how many more 40, questions? It's do the I last have? one. You got Fine. this. What type of fuel is used to power the forty fourteen big boy? The Polar Express. Good job. Yeah. You get a hug from me. Bye, DJ. Anyway, we got some dash eights that we're going to take a look at here from line. Now, let's check out these diesel engines here. Now, these are traditional size engines. So, if you're looking at these, thinking, well, these don't look scale, you're right. But these are traditional size engines that maybe you're looking for to add to your holiday O scale display. I have here four different real names here at BNSF CSX. We have here the Norfolk Southern and the Union Pacific. Now, these are Lion Chief engines. However, they do run on Bluetooth control. So if I have my phone or a tablet or any other type of Wi-Fi device, I can uh, download the Lion Chief app and I can run these engines. This is perfect for running around that Christmas tree, especially if you are a modern diesel fan and you want to get some Dash 8s running around. Let's pull it with our uh, Lion Chief app. And Jerry Hall, you want to run that Norfolk Southern? Yeah, I missed it. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's proceed with that Norfolk Southern diesel locomotive. So that an NS diesel locomotive on the track. What I have here is I have my Line Chief app. I am going to turn the power on to my track. And then right here, you're going to hear the diesel make some type of like a uh, um, kind of a beeping noise. I have here my diesel locomotive. I click on that. I connect it there. And now, I've got my engine ready to go. All right, let's take a look at what it sounds like here. Now I have my idle sounds here. I have my horn. That's a pretty good sounding horn. I got the bell. Nice. And I even have announcement features. Alright, let's pull it out, shall we? Let's get pulling the train here. Great sound of diesel locomotive here. I love the Bluetooth capability. It does come with a remote, so if you wanted to run it with a remote, you can do that too. But you can run it with the phone. Engineer Hall said you could go to the bathroom and run your train. I mean, hey, that's something. So I have four different versions for you to choose from here. So if you're looking for something to add to your O scale fleet, I think this is a really neat engine here and it's very affordable too. Let me just go over here to get my prices. So the retail value of this locomotive is $279.99. But we're selling here at Yankee Dabbler for $252.99. So awesome deal to get on a diesel locomotive here. So my recommendation, I think you should get all four of them and pull a nice long O-scale unit train on your railroad today. So, all aboard.
We have an R diesel locomotive for your consideration. These are actually really nice ones from Bowser's. Here we got some RS3 units over here. What? I helped. Uh, okay. We have well, well, Lehigh hold, hold. Valley. Okay. Who's Lee? Mm. Um, mm. We got Boston and Maine. Well, which is it? I don't know. Okay. We got Burlington Northern. The people from the South aren't going to like that one. Oh, Jesus. And we got Long Island, but it looks the same length as the other ones. Okay, Christian. Thank thank you. I, I, I got this. I know what I'm doing here, okay? Okay. I saw something shiny over there maybe you can look at. So we have four different versions of these RS3 units here, but they're really neat looking diesel locomotives here. And they're very nicely detailed, too. I took this Long Island one out here just to kind of show you this is the amazing detail that's happening with these engines here. I love the separately applied parts that you have here. And if you take a look at all of these diesel locomotives here, like let's take a look at this Lehigh Valley, for example. You notice I have a couple of other detailing that wasn't on the other ones. Then let's take a look at the Boston and Maine here. You see different detailing happening here. You have the uh, the horn that's kind of like on a bracket right there. And if you take a look at the Burlington Northern, that has a whole bunch of different things happening here including the bell that is protruded up there so i mean i got a whole bunch of different detailing features with these locomotives here i love that bowser is doing this with their diesel engines here and the rs3 is kind of a standard locomotive that you need running on your rails here so i got this long island one out here we don't really have i don't think we've run a long island engine so let's hear what it sounds like all aboard all right so i had this long island rs3 on the track let's hear what it sounds like I love the sound of an RS3. It always sounds like it's about to fall apart. Here is the horn. All right, here's the bell. Let's start her up. That's a great sound of diesel locomotive. It looks good. It pulls great. I mean, I really like this engine. Now, the retail value of these diesel locomotives is $309.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $247.96. So it's a great deal to get on this locomotive here. As I said, I have a couple different variations here, and I think one of them is definitely going to find a home in your layout, and you're really going to have fun with it. So come to Yankee Dabbler and get one today. Well, let's do a little recap of everything we saw in today's show here. We saw a couple of different things with different scales here, so we're looking hey, forward DJ, how to... How about you let me do this one? I, let okay. me do what's new at Yankee Dabbler. But I've been, we've, I've done the whole yeah, show but, here. Yeah, but look. All right. So anyway, from Lionel, we have these uh, Dash 8. Eight. Eight. Yeah, yes, okay. There's two. Yeah, well, there's two more over there. So. Yeah, but there's two over here. Okay. So from uh, Repeat, we had these awesome looking cabooses. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we had here from Walters, we had these. Uh, flat car. 
center beam flat curves. Yeah, Christian. that's what I said. Okay, and then finally from uh, Bowser, we had these RS threes. Yeah, the long one. Where no, the long, the long there island's right there. Okay, yes. You're not really adding anything. Okay. I'm adding a lot. Okay. Well, if you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, yeah, subscribe to Engineer Hall. If you didn't see what you were looking for in today's show, you can type into our website, yankeedabbler.com. Type, type in the search bar. And That's we dot can, com, not dot org. And we can get stuff to you. So if you didn't see what you were looking for in today's show, uh, you can look at our website. We have a whole bunch of trains. I was for you to get ready you for the holiday season. Um, you're, okay, how about this? Bubbles. Thank you. All right. So, uh, yeah, so that's everything for today's show here. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to conclude with a rail fan video. Engineer Hall, you want to set up this one? Why is he turning red? Okay. Unbubble. You, you can breathe. Unbubble. <gasps> oh, Lord. Engineer Hall, why don't you set up today's uh, rail fan video? Well, rail fan video is uh, me working uh, at a passing CP pool, running on the Harrisburg Lane uh, heading west. Very good. Is it in an engine that looks similar to this? Uh, similar. But, but not quite. This one's by line out. Okay. All right. Well, that sounds like a great video. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to print out two of the same exact photos and ask Christian to find the 10 differences. All right. You ready? Ooh, I like games. Uh, all right. Take care, everybody. All right. You're going to enjoy this. That's going to be great. Hooray.